Hi, Wasteland TV. We are here with Stephen Jacobs and my wife Joanne Hoover. So, what do you, you do for a hobby? Hobbies? Boy, I do, my wife and I do all kinds of um, genres from sci fi, Victorian, steampunk, Renaissance, Old West, uh, Doctor Who, can I go on? It's, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars. Do you um, do uh, the G.I. Joes? No. Yep. And of course, as you can see behind me, I do Stargate. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd say, what do I do? I go from universe to universe, same into universe with MacGyver. <laughs> well, I, I told you what we did. Yes. So, what made you decide to build an entire Stargate? Actually, we were looking for a prop for a charity event. Uh, if you've heard of Relay for Life, it's a fundraising um, activity for raising uh, money for cancer research. And uh, my wife and I were in charge of entertainment at one of our local events, uh, being in the town of Oakhurst, California. And we had done game show themes in the past. We had games for kids and um, Jeopardy, Survivor, obstacle courses and stuff like that. So the following year said, hey, let's do sci-fi. And my wife made up signs that said, we will go to other planets to find a cure to go alongside the Stargate. Uh huh. So um, I like a challenge and doing a build. So I built this behind me. So how long did it take you to build that? It took about five months. Uh, one, um, it was evening work. I was um, working full time um, back then. I'm retired now. And um, I was teaching myself how to use a MIG welder because this is all steel frame behind what you don't see. So is it balsa wood or hardwood that's, that's made from? Uh, the, the skin on it is a plywood, eighth inch um, hard plywood, and then all the paintings is mostly done freehand, either with an airbrush or by hand. How did it go over at the uh, Relay for Life, your uh, Stargate? Uh, the kids liked it. The kids liked it a lot. How do adults like it? Uh, indifferent. You know, they're just the wrong crowd. <laughs> yeah. But as long as the kids loved it, that's all that mattered. Yes. Because in the end, you're there for the kids, mm -hmm. not the adults, yeah. even though they tend to think you're there for them. Yep, and um, since then it's been assembled twice more for parties um, that we've held. And uh, I was actually very glad that somebody asked, hey, can we bring this uh, to Modesto Classic Comic Con? So how many parts is it? Hmm? How many parts is it? Four parts. Four parts? Yep, you scan down the ramp, solid one piece, all the way in the back with my junk back there. And that gives it stability when it's um, outside in the wind. This wing here, it bolts on right here, up to here. It's the same thing on the other side, very lightweight. And then the, the, the top is one piece. That's the hard part, because it doesn't fit well in a pickup. It hangs out in the back. So it's almost like the way the action figure uh, little Stargate was built where you got parts. The, excuse me, say again, the little action figures of Stargate, you got a part of the Stargate, and mm -hmm. basically to build the Stargate, you got like the top part. Mm -hmm. It was actually four parts of circle, mm -hmm. and then the, the walkway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that the electronics, um, they're just lights off of a trailer. And um, what other questions do you have? So, are you quite pleased with the pro with the, what you built? Well, yes. Yeah, it's held up really well. It's very strong. So, what is your one favorite part of construction you learned about doing this? I learned how to weld really well. <laughs> <laughs> so and also, you, uh, you know, I'd never used an airbrush before and uh, taught myself how to use it. So what uh, was your favorite part out of all the things you've learned or already knew to build on this thing? Favorite part was uh, the first time assembling it. And uh, I just had a pulley on the ceiling of my shop, I have a full shop, and um, having it all come together. The whole see thing, seeing all the circle, all the pieces, all come together, like painting miniatures or mm -hmm. doing anything that deals with building something. Mm -hmm. And um, you go through that loss phase. You go, is it going to work? Is it going to work? And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, well, this here was just a lot of math. Yeah, you know, getting all the, you know, the correct um, bolt patterns and spacings and stuff like that. So, how much scale is this to an original Stargate from the show? This is one half scale. 
The one on the show was 22 feet high. This one's 11 feet high. Okay. But it's just cool that you built it. Excuse me? It's cool that you built it. Yep, yep, it was a lot of fun. Any last word to any people that want to build props for a convention? Um, go forth and find your local resources. So then you have um, something like uh, Fresno has uh, Idea Works. It's a uh, co op where they can you tent, pay a fee, and they'll teach you how to use welders, woodworking equipment, glass blowing, blacksmithing. <laughs> and whatever. I did not have that resource when I built this gate, but um, I've since learned of their existence and I highly recommend people to utilize that, that resource. Thank you.